On the route of the Boston Marathon, two men filmed carrying bulky backpacks, walking towards the finishing line where the bomb attacks happened. These pictures, taken from CCTV cameras, have turned the FBI investigation into a manhunt. Still images have also been released. The face of suspect number one is obscured by a cap and sunglasses. But the image of suspect number two is easier to make out. His cap's reversed, allowing a clearer view and this distinctive profile shot. It's a major breakthrough for investigators' visual evidence linking suspects to the crime. Suspect one is wearing a dark hat. Suspect two is wearing a white hat. Suspect two set down a backpack at the site of the second explosion just in front of the Forum restaurant. We consider them to be armed and extremely dangerous. No one should approach them. No one should attempt to apprehend them except law enforcement. Already, digital detective work on the Internet's unearthed at least one image possibly showing one of the suspects. This photograph can't be verified, but seems to show a man in a reversed white baseball cap without a backpack leaving the scene moments after the second explosion. This is a city still on edge. Another alert prompted by a discarded rucksack outside a memorial service attended by President Obama. Inside, he promised the bombers will be brought to justice. If they sought to intimidate us, to terrorize us, to shake us from those values that Duvall described, the values that make us who we are as Americans, well, it should be pretty clear by now that they picked the wrong city to do it. Boston is trying to return to normal, but the centre remains a crime scene. The CCTV footage released by the FBI shows the two suspects walking up at least part of Boylston Street, and there's footage of the second suspect in the location where the second blast is known to have gone off. Up there now, there are forensic teams still scouring the area. A manhunt has been launched, but the search for evidence continues. There are still many questions in the aftermath of Monday's bomb attacks, not least what was the motive. But there is now the hope these images will be enough to help investigators find those responsible. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Boston.